Hi, and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add text titles to your video content in Premiere Pro 2022. Okay, so we've got this little Premiere Pro project set up, and we're going to go to Windows, Workspace, and make sure you select all panels so you can see exactly the same layout as I see. We're also going to go to Windows, and we're going to go to Effects Controls, just to make sure that we can see and manipulate some of the effects for these clips. So we'll left-click outside, drag this video clip onto the timeline. So I want to duplicate this video clip. So there's a few different ways to do that, but the easy way is just to select it, press Control C or Command C on the Mac, and I'm going to paste it three times. So I'm going to paste it once, two times, three times. In fact, we're going to do it four times. And to paste it, you press Control V or Command V on the Mac. So we've got this video clip, and it's just repeating now, right? So we just want to reverse a couple of the clips. So we're going to click on this one, hold down the Shift key, click on this one. So we're selecting these two only. Going to right click on them go to speed and duration and select reverse speed here yeah? and what that will do is when we play the video clip it will just reverse here it will go in the opposite direction basically right that's all it's going to do can you see it's going in it's going to shrink in and then it's going to grow again and then shrink the flowers right so we want to add some text titles so to do that let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the timeline we'll click on the text tool and then we'll click inside of the video content here I'm just going to type in something so I'm going to just say summer fun all right and we'll click on the move tool and we're just going to drag this into the bottom corner here so we can consider that to be one of our first titles but we're going to make this title a little bit longer in duration so we can just click on the text here in the timeline right click on it and go to speed and duration right now it's set to five seconds so I want to set that to eight seconds and then click OK so we've got this little title here and let's just make it a little bit more interesting so let's go ahead and click on the text itself and make sure that we're at the beginning of the timeline and we're going to go to scale actually we're going to go to position we're going to click on the stopwatch for position that will add a keyframe at the very beginning and we want to scrub in one second so we can check the duration by looking right here you can see it says one second and one frame so use the arrow keys on your keyboard the left arrow will move back a frame and the right arrow will move uh, forward a frame so we want to go to exactly one second and then click on this little dot here that will add another keyframe so we've got a keyframe here and here so i'm going to drag this timeline all the way back to the beginning and click on the first keyframe or you can use these little arrows here to move between the frames right so we'll go to the first frame and we want to move its position here on the horizontal axis right so we're going to left click and drag this number so that it moves the text off of the screen like this then we're going to left click and select both of these keyframes so highlight both of them you can right click go down to spatial interpolation here and then click bezier bezier here in fact it's already set to auto bezier so i think that's actually going to be fine but we'll click auto bezier that will just smooth out the transition so now when we click uh play on the timeline it's going to flow in nicely right but it's just going to disappear so we want to go to video transition go to cross dissolve and drag that towards the end of the text clip and then it will fade out nicely at the end so we've done a little animation i'm going to click on this little text like this text content on the timeline press Control c or command v on the mac so Control c on the pc Com command v on the mac move across the timeline and then press Control c or command v on the mac to paste it and i'm going to make sure the snapping tool is enabled here snap to timeline and i'm just going to drag this one here and i'm going to press Control v or command v on the mac again and drag this one here and uh, let's just make sure it's at the beginning of that particular clip you can just drag it and it will, should snap to the beginning right like there and it will click this and we'll press uh, command v or control v on the pc and we'll drag it here as well now we can just move our mask our cursor not our mask cursor our timeline cursor over the text content here click it and then in here we can change the text quite quickly right so if we just move it let's click on it double click and then we can just change fun to something like holiday and then we can go to the next one so just left click here click on the text and double click inside here we can do summer sunshine and then finally we can click on this one click on that text and then we can do summer heat 
So if we move across the timeline now, we can see summer fun. It's animated. It slides in. Then it just gradually fades out. Then the next one will slide in. Then it will gradually fade out. And it will repeat that for all of them. Nicely. So you've got these nice little text here with these animations. If you want to change the font, you can go ahead and click on the actual text itself. And if you go into the effects in here, we just minimize some of these. Uh, let's see. You'll see it says text here, summer fun. If we just click on that drop down, we'll see the option to change the font here. So you can change it to a different font by selecting one of these. You can change its size. You can make it all uppercase. Like click in here and it'll be all uppercase. You can go and experiment with this. You can change the color here as well. So if you want to make it red, you can make it red or whatever color you like. So that's how you can quickly add text titles using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so that's the end of this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where you can find over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of software applications. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.